Testing is the process of checking that an application functions as expected. One of the main goals as a developer is to produce a bug-free application. An app with a lot of bugs creates a bad user experience, which leads to users abandoning it. We can verify that our application is functioning as expected with two types of testing, namely manual testing and automated testing. So far throughout this series, we've been testing our apps manually. That's to say, each time we wrote a section of code, we manually checked that it was working in the browser. In small apps, that's perfectly fine, but in larger apps, we may miss many of the bugs a typical user would come across. This is where automated testing comes in. It will take care of testing the application for us. Generally, we have three types of tests available to us. Unit testing checks if smaller sections of our application, like functions or components, work as expected. Unit tests are fast and reliable. Snapshot testing is a program that will take two snapshots of our application and compare them. If it finds any differences, it will consider the test a failure. End-to-end -end testing checks if the flow of the application is behaving correctly, from start to finish. It simulates the steps a user will go through when using our app. The goal of testing an application is to make development faster. If we're not careful when writing tests, we may end up spending too much time on tests that aren't really necessary. With experience, you'll be able to judge when and what to test. That said, let's take a look at some general rules. In unit testing, the units that make up our application are the components. So, we should generally focus on testing them. As an example, let's consider a component that displays a greeting message. The component takes two props as input for the user's first and last names. Then, it displays the full name with a greeting message as output. We want to test the output. In other words, did the component display a full name with the greeting message? The concept of inputs and outputs are important to understand. In testing, we supply an input, receive an output, and assert that the output is correct. The method that creates the greeting message is an implementation detail. We're not interested in how the component creates the greeting message, we just want to know if it created it with the correct values. Because we don't focus on the implementation, the test won't break if we change the way the method creates the greeting message. With end-to-end -end testing, we want to test the major and most common user actions. That would be things like logins, checkouts, playing videos, etc. We don't want to test small actions, like navigating from one page to another. We also don't want to test the view framework itself. We can trust that the view team has done the work of testing the framework. In the same vein, we don't test third-party libraries, like Axios. We can trust that the library developers do their own testing. In the next video, we'll start learning about unit testing with Jest. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.